Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so I have got the OnePlus 5 right here with me and it looks great. Very smooth, sleek design, thin, lightweight, uh, very small bezels, not no bezels, but very small bezels here. 5.5 inch screen, which as you can see, looks great, great quality on it. But I've been looking online and as you probably already know, there are a lot, a lot of other reviews already on this phone. So not all that much point me going through the same talking points again. So what should I do? I thought I would give you guys a more detailed in-depth review about the video capabilities of this phone. Recording video on the front camera, on the rear camera, and even trying it out with this Zhiyun uh, gimbal, a uh, phone gimbal there to see what it looks like with a stabilization device. And then we can see if it's really a good phone for taking videos either for vlogging or for some sort of action shots. Well, you can be the judge when you take a look at the footage. I'm just on my way to lunch now. It's a very sunny day out here and I just thought I'd give you guys a look at how the front camera's working. I've currently got this uh, without the external mics, using the internal mic and no stabilization with the uh, phone gimbal. And uh, I thought I'd also talk a little bit about the specs. The front camera that I'm using at the moment is a IMX371 from Sony. It can record in uh, 1080p, so HD, and uh, it's a 16 megapixel front camera. In terms of some of the other internal specifications, the version that I have is a six gigabyte RAM, 64 gigabyte internal storage device, uh, but you can get the beastly version, which is a eight gigabyte RAM, 128 gigabyte storage device. And in terms of the colors, not too much uh, choice there, but still cool looking. You get the black or the dark gray color. Uh, for the processor, it has a Snapdragon 835, which is a very fast processor. Very nice, top of the range at the moment. And the GPU is an Adreno 540. So very, very well specced phone. It comes in at around $540, depending on the retailer. And uh, that's quite expensive, to be honest. Pretty expensive, but it is certainly a flagship level phone. And considering the really decent specifications, you get more than decent, very good specifications you get with this phone, 540 is a reasonable price to pay. So, just give you a look the surroundings here, back to me, and over there in the distance. Very lovely day we have out here today. Um, yeah, decent quality on the front camera, and it should be looking even better on the rear camera. So now I've come indoors in this shopping center here to get away from the rain, and I'm shooting on the rear camera. It's in landscape mode to give you a better idea or rather a bigger, clearer picture. And I'm shooting in 1080p at 60 FPS. It's also got a 4K mode, which I'm about to show you in a bit. Um, but before I do that, I'll just talk a little bit more about the cameras. Um, it's got obviously dual rear cameras. And for photos, uh, you get one which is 16 megapixel and one which is 20 megapixel. The 16 megapixel is a Sony IMX398 and the 20 megapixel is a IMX350. This now is shooting, recording the video on the IMX398. I'm not using an external microphone, it's the internal microphone and there is no stabilization from the gimbal. When you're taking photos, unfortunately there is no optical image stabilization. However, it's got a great uh, dynamic range and if you would like to see some examples of the photos then head on over to geekbuying.com okay checking it out more of the surroundings and something is going on down here 
All right, let's switch it up to 4K now. And this is what it looks like in ultra high definition of 4K. Although you may not be able to see much of a difference depending on the monitor that you have. Okay, now let's try it with the uh, Juyun gimbal. Okay, so by this time the rain had stopped and I was back outside. I'm using the Juyun Smooth Q gimbal and the OnePlus 5's 4K setting for this footage. And as you can hear, I recorded the audio for this section afterwards using a separate microphone. From this video, you'll notice that the footage is much smoother than earlier in spite of my shoddy camera work. Okay, so hope that was informative for you. If you'd like to go ahead and buy the OnePlus 5, head to geekbuying.com and remember to subscribe.